good afternoon students in our last class we are discussing about the distribution of population in india and also the census of india etc and today we start from density of population it is very important topic in population geography or human geography what is density of population it is the first question uh, in our uh, class that is what is uh, so what is density of population density of population is expressed as number of person per square per unit area it helps in getting a better understanding of spatial distribution of population is relation to land the density of population in india is 382 person per square kilometer area so write down first question that is what is density of population there has been a steady increase of more than 200% per square kilometer area over the last 50 years as uh, as the density of population increased from 117% per square kilometer in 1951 and at present according to 2011 the population density is 382 persons per square kilometer area the highest density is in the state of bihar 1102 and the lowest density in arunachal pradesh only 17 persons per square kilometer area and some examples are west bengal has 1029 uh, uttar pradesh uh, 828 and tamil nadu has 555 per persons per square kilometer area states like assam gujarat andhra pradesh haryana jharkhand orissa have moderate density and the states like uttar pradesh uh, bihar west bengal tamil nadu this all has highest density and the lowest densities are covered the hill areas for example sikkim arunachal pradesh jammu and kashmir etc the density of population as discussed in the earlier paragraph is a crude measure of human and land relationship basically the density of population shows the relationship between human being and land to get a better insight into human land ratio with uh, in terms of pressure of population on land cultivated land the physiological and agricultural density could be found out which is significant for a country like india okay in the next page uh, figure number 1.2 uh, there is a map uh, of india and it shows that the shown the density of population okay uh, and um, Hmm. Next is growth of population. Our next topic is growth of population. What is growth of population? Growth of population is the change in the number of people living in a particular area between a specific time. Population growth has two components, namely natural growth and induced. while the natural growth is analyzed by as, uh, assessing the crude birth rate and death, uh, death rate and the induced components are explained by the volume of inward and outward movement that means migration the inward movement and um, outward movement also known as migration 
the decadal and annual growth rate of population in india are both very high and steadily increasing over time actually the growth of population in india is very high the annual growth rate of population is 1.64 percent according to 2011 census the growth rate of population in india over the last one century has been caused by annual birth rate and death rate and the rate of migration and they have shown different trends there are four distinct phase of growth, uh, growth identified within this period and these four distinct um, phase we are also known as demographic transition theory okay now write down the next question that is what is growth of population Okay. Now write some extra question. First question is what is density of population. Second is what is growth of population. And third, number third uh, question is what is uh, density of population in India according to 2011 census. Write down the third number question that is what is uh, density of population in India according to 2011 census. next number 4 that is which state has highest density and which state has lowest density of population in india number 4 number question is which state has highest density of population and which state has lowest density of population in india okay now question number 5 define the term crude birth rate and death rate define the term crude crude birth rate and death rate and if you have any problem or any questions then ask me